Okay, so I'm going to conduct a, a bit of an experiment here. I have a whole bunch of fleece scraps from making toys, and I have an old food processor, and I need stuffing. And I'm looking for ways to use these scraps so that this polar fleece doesn't go into the landfill, because I really don't have any other way to utilize them. So, and I, I did Google this, and I didn't find any answers, so here we are. I'm going to try and do this. But the goal is to take these polar fleece scrappy scrappy bits that are not big enough to do anything else with and turn them into like fluffy stuffing. So let's go. Okay, so I'm going to hand the camera off to my trusty dusty cameraman and we're going to try and keep this in frame. All right. All right, I'm going to start with some very small bits that I have and I'm just going to put them in. They're really, I already kind of cut them up with scissors and I'm not going to do too much because who knows what's going to happen here and I'm just going to pulse. I'm afraid. It doesn't seem to be affecting it any. So, doesn't look like anything's happening. So I'm going to try a slightly bigger piece and I'm just going to feed it in. <laughs> Wish us luck. Again. Is anything happening at all? I don't think so. No, it got a little bit twisted. So the only reasonable thing to do is to keep putting stuff in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if, um, cause is it possible that there's just not enough stuff to give it attention? It could be. Oh, no. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> if the internet had only answered this question, I wouldn't have to do this. So what we have here is near bulletproof polar fleece. There you go. Yeah. I still have questions. So I'm going to try putting more in here and give it a whirl and see what happens. I don't have any faith that filling it up is going to make any changes. But just for the sake of experimentation, I'm gonna fill it up to um, like midpoint and give it a go. I, ad I admit that this feels a little bit idiotic. So let's see if we can get this lid back on. Ugh. On, okay, ready? So pulsing kind of makes it all bunch up on one side. We're going to just put it on go. Nope. That doesn't do anything. It's just winding up. Oh, it's going to break. Oh, crap. Did you see that? It popped the lid off. Oh, that's so interesting. Look at this. It popped the lid off. The more you know. Um... It wound it into a fiery hot knot. Look at that. And um, it's like kind of melted at the core and it smells really bad. Wow, that's super interesting. <laughs> but I'm trying to untie it with one hand. Oh, wow. Look at that. It like spun it and melted it, but didn't cut it. That's crazy. Now, maybe uh, polar fleece is the new Kevlar. So if your bulletproof needs, you're all, you're all set. Just go to Joanne's for some, <laughs> for some polar fleece.